Okay, let's talk about circles. And circles is a huge topic in mathematics. A lot of you uh, probably think that, oh, all we need to know about circles is how to find the circumference and the area of circles. Well, not quite. When you get into uh, more like, say, high school level geometry, there's all sorts of formulas and things you want to know about circles. And I think this is a pretty unique little problem to kind of indicate uh, these uh, problems that you're going to deal with circles, but you really uh, need to have a formula to solve this problem. But what is the problem? Well, we want to find the angle. And what angle are we talking about? We're talking about this angle right here, okay, angle one. That's what we're trying to figure out. But what's the problem? What, we got these two yellow lines that are inside the circle. So I'm just curious, how many of you know what these lines are referred to? It starts with a C, okay? So if you know what this line is called, okay, these type of lines within a circle, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'd be curious to see how many of you got that right. Of course, I'll tell you here in just one second. But you have these two lines, they're intersecting inside the circle. And of course, they're forming some angles. These are actually vertical angles. So this angle is the same as this angle. But these lines that, that um, stop at the edge of the circle right here are forming what? Well, this is what we call an arc. Okay, so we have one arc of 40 degrees, and we have this other arc over here of 80 degrees. So uh, these two lines, you know, where they meet the circle right here, are forming, of course, these arcs. And I'm going to show you the notation on all this, the formula to um, answer the, um, this question. Of course, I'm going to give you the answer here in just one second, but let's go ahead and answer this question right now. What are these lines called? Well, if you said chords, you would be uh, correct. So that's very, very good. So we're talking about intersecting uh, chords within a circle. So this is not that difficult. Don't feel um, overwhelmed, but you do need to know a formula here. And again, when it comes to circles, there's a ton of formulas. We're just going to concentrate on this one particular problem here. And uh, I'm going to get to it in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in math. I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Maybe you think you're a bad math student. You're like, oh, I'm terrible at math. I'll never learn math. Listen, that there is no such thing. You can be excellent in mathematics, but it's going to require a commitment. And more importantly, you need great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, a lot of you um, are going to be encountering a test with a math section, you may not even realize it. I'm talking about entrance exams, placement exams, certification exams, things like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, AccuPlace or Alex. Um, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning uh, middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. Hopefully, you have your own great math notes. If you do not, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave uh, links to uh, my notes in the description of this video. But start improving your notes. Everything gets better in terms of mathematics when you take better notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this. we got two chords um, inside a circle that are intersecting. We're trying to determine this angle. I'm going to show you the answer right now. Okay, so angle one is equal to 60 degrees. That is the answer. And if you got that right, that's pretty impressive. I will give you a nice happy face, an A++. I'll give you 120% and multiple stars to make you feel extra special. A nice job. So you got this answer correct um, because you obviously knew the formula. Remember, we're talking about circles. There is a ton of formulas you need to know. And these formulas, um, by the way, are not complicated, but they're easy to confuse. So I'm going to kind of show you real quick. I apologize. I have to uh, erase your little happy face. But I'm just going to show you the type of things that you're going to have to know. So here is a circle. So if we have two chords that are intersecting in a circle, you have all sorts of angles being formed. You also have um, various lengths that are kind of being constructed here as well. So there's formulas for all this stuff. There's also 
uh, formulas for central angles within a circle. Kind of looks like uh, that old like Pac-Man game in the 1980s, which I did play a lot. And that was a quarter way back then. That was a lot of money for us uh, folks back in the 1980s. Anyways, I don't want to digress too much, but a central angle kind of looks like a little Pac-Man type thing like this. So uh, you need to know the angle from here uh, with this arc being formed with the central angle. That's another type of angle, of course, that you need to know. None of this is, again, that complicated. Then you have uh, an inscribed angle like this with two chords. So there's all sorts of uh, situation. Uh, st <laughs> I'm stumbling all over my, my, my words here. Situations, that's what I meant to say. But there's all sorts of scenarios. I think I was trying to say scenarios and situations at the same time. But anyways, you understand there is a lot of um, various scenarios within a circle that are easy to confuse. Okay, you might be like, oh, I need to know, uh, use this particular formula to solve this problem. And typically what students will do, they'll use the wrong formula. So again, this is the whole value of note taking and practice. Okay, so let's see if I can straighten out my words and we'll get to the solution here. Again, not difficult. I'm going to show you the formula first. So we have two chords. Okay, so we have two chords that intersect inside a circle. What's the formula? Well, here's a scenario. So the measure of this angle right here, angle one, is one half the measure of this arc here being formed. So let's just interpret this formula. The measure of this, this arc here plus the measure of this arc. This little m in geometry just means uh, the measure. So essentially, we're just going to find the average of these arcs. Okay, so we're going to take this arc, we're going to add it up with this arc, and then we're going to take the average or just divide it by one half. That is the formula to find the angle of two of um, formed by two chords that intersect inside a circle. Okay, so that's what the formula would look like. And oftentimes, the formula looks scarier than the actual thing we need to do. We just simply need to average the arcs. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the measure of angle one right here is going to be one half of this arc. That's 40 uh, degrees plus this arc over here. That's 80 degrees. So 40 and 80, 120, one half of that, 60 degrees. Pretty easy stuff. Of course, everything is easy when you know and understand the formula and you're using the correct formula. So believe me when I tell you um, high school level geometry and beyond uh, as I was kind of indicating before I was stumbled all over my words, has a ton of formulas. Not difficult, but there is a lot of formulas. That's why you got to take great math notes. So um, if you need help with this, and I'm talking about um, circles, you really want to get into circles at this level, definitely check out my um, geometry, my full geometry course. Um, I cover, I mean, all this and way, way more. So if you need help with... Um, whether it be circles, transformations, uh, similarity, congruence, that's where you'd want to go. Also, I have a pair of dedicated math notes uh, for geometry that has all these formulas uh, in there as well. But uh, if you get my course, the notes come within the course, so that's pretty cool. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.